Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, tell me how. Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, let's do it now. Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, you're the one that makes fishing so much fun. Well, I woke up this morning and I headed for my pond. Meet Mr. Pond Boss, yeah, we're gonna chase the sun. One of the things I'm most passionate about is habitat. As a matter of fact, my favorite phrase is, as goes the habitat, so goes what lives in it. When you're designing a fishing pond or a swimming pond or you know, a pond just for aesthetic appeal, you need to think about the kind of habitat for the animals and the insects and the plants that are going to live in it. So pay close attention to the way that these fish, whatever you're going to stock, what they need, what their requirements are. For example, if you're going to have a swimming pond and you, you don't want to deal with runaway aquatic plants, Get to, to deeper water as soon as you can. Plants need three things to grow. They need water, they need temperature, they need sunlight, they need food. And if they've got those three key things, they're gonna grow. So one of the things you can do is block the sunlight off by getting deeper. If you're gonna try to grow largemouth bass and the bait fish that are associated with them, bluegill, red ear, sunfish, fathead minnows, be sure that you put some habitat in there that is not only conducive to those giant bass that you wanna grow, but also for the little bitty bait fish. Little bitty bait fish like to congregate in tight areas like a clump of grass or vegetation near the shoreline or dense brush piles. Have some of that in there. Now remember that fish live in a community and the better that the housing and the restaurants and the condos and all that are, the better off that that community is going to be. Big bass like to live off of points in fairly shallow water with quick access to deep water with structure. So if you've got points around your pond, enhance those. If you're building a lake, build some points. Be sure that you do that. But also keep in mind that a 10 pound bass is gonna eat a big meal. It's gonna eat a one pound bass, or a 12 inch gizzard shad, or a five inch long bluegill, something like that. So be sure that you're providing habitat for all those creatures. Now, here's a really important tip. 90% of the fish live in 10% of the pond. But that 10% changes as the seasons change. They move to deeper water in summer and winter. They move to shallower water in spring and fall. So be sure that you enhance those areas, but don't go overboard. You don't need six flags over black bass under the water where every ounce of the pond bottom has structure or cover. You don't need that. That's not part of the game. Just enhance 20 to 25% of your pond with the kinds of habitat that fish like, and you're gonna be, be a, it's a formula for success. It's gonna work really, really well for you. To raise a big old honking moss back Line breaking tack tearing up moss back Hey Mr. Pond Boss tell me what to do To make all my Lunker Lake dreams come true